Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that I was in Mexico. This was my third recent dream about going to or being in Mexico, all under dire circumstances such as fleeing the U.S. This article talks about the little notice surge across the U.S.-Mexico border. It's Americans heading south into Mexico. In last night's dream, I heard the word salida, which means exit in Spanish. In last night's dream, all the Mexican postal workers wore silver and gray uniforms that looked almost like metal, as if they were almost robotic. They each had a metal name tag with a unique number on it. One of them told me as I was looking around in a shop, don't tell anyone who you are. This dream is a warning that the mark of the beast is coming soon, and we know that Jesus is coming soon too, Revelation tells us that, and that no one will be able to buy or sell unless he or she has the mark in their right hand or forehead, the name or the number of the beast, 666. Nero Caesar in the Hebrew alphabet, when interpreted numerically, is 666. In the Bible, Jesus holds up a coin and says to render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's and unto God that which is God's. We who belong to God are sealed by the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. Those who belong to Caesar are those who reject the spirit of Jesus and who will receive the imprint of quote-unquote Caesar upon themselves as if they were coinage in order to continue buying and selling. In my dream last night, I had a pair of shoes beside my bed. I was very aware they represented the shoes of peace. In Jesus, we can have a peace that transcends all understanding. I was also aware that the shoes were there so I would be ready to go wherever and whenever Jesus called me to go. Further, I knew they represented being prepared to share the good news wherever I go. In my dream, I saw military people coming to Jesus. I also saw famous people who were coming to Jesus from Hollywood and in Las Vegas. I saw people packed in and crowds were coming. There were still some seats to be filled in the back rows on the sides, so keep sharing and subscribing so the seats will fill up, so to speak. I began to realize that this large church in my dream represented the internet since it was able to reach multiple locations and so many different people all at once. I saw a literal worldwide web in my dream, a gigantic web funneling people into the church. It was like a giant slippery slide pulling people. Some people were resistant and were blocking the flow, but many were coming in joyfully, both young and old. Coming to Jesus and coming into the church translated into coming to heaven as I saw a bridge over troubled water of the packed church which led to the upstairs. Upstairs was a place of rest, representing the rest we will have in heaven, but also a place where people were wide awake. I wandered into a room upstairs where I overheard a discussion about how people were following the lusts of the flesh. I also overheard a discussion reminiscent of how generous and giving people were during 9-11, which seemed to point to the fact that the level of generosity had really died down in the current crisis, with the exception of some. This further confirms 2 Timothy 3, 1, and 4, that there will be terrible times in the last days because people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, and lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind so that you can pray. If you haven't come to Jesus, it's time to come to him now. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For Christ, though innocent, suffered once for all of our sins, that he might bring us to God. 
pray with me. Dear Jesus, I believe you died and rose again to pay the penalty for my sins, for the wages of sin is death. I receive your gracious gift of forgiveness and eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen.